This video offers suggestions on conducting a search with the Garrett SuperScanner V, and it presents basic techniques and tips to use when scanning. Law enforcement and security professionals may develop their own standard scanning procedures, but these demonstrations will help provide suggestions on how to scan efficiently and effectively. Remember that the SuperScanner is a motion detector, which means that it must be moving slightly in order to detect metal. To inspect a person properly, make certain he or she is standing in an area where you have sufficient space to scan around all sides of the person. During the scanning process, the super scanner should be kept very close to the person at all times. Do not allow the wand to contact the person, but maintain a parallel distance of about one inch away. First, check the back side, scanning downward from the shoulders, down one leg, and back up to the other shoulder. Be careful to check around the belt line where a weapon could be hidden. Repeat this basic process on the person's front side. You must check arms, legs, and pocket areas carefully. To scan feet and ankles, sweep the Super Scanner V perpendicularly and approximately one to two inches above the floor. If you ever encounter any interference, simply press and hold this button and your detecting sensitivity will be slightly reduced. This enables you to conduct a complete inspection without interference from rebar and other nearby metallic objects. Hats must be removed during scanning and they must be scanned separately. Scan around the person's head, particularly a person with a large or elaborate hairstyle. In general, it is not necessary to scan between the legs of either a man or a woman, since the sensitivity of the Super Scanner V is such that basic front and back scanning effectively covers such areas. When you get a signal, you must always find out what caused it and make certain that no weapon is making the signal. You must see the object or objects causing the signal. In many cases, you will want to scan or physically inspect that particular object. You might see decorative pens on a person's outerwear. Make certain, however, that the object making your super scanner signal is only a pen. You must learn the reason for every detection signal you get. Closely inspecting a person's feet may cause you to bend over, but never kneel in front of a person you're inspecting. This inspection of ankles and feet may seem difficult at first, but you will soon develop your own techniques. After a person has removed metal objects, scan the area again for additional items. Use a container such as this to hold items removed from a person. You must visually inspect the objects that made the signal. If you get a signal from a person's pants pockets, do not let them explain it away simply by jingling coins. Make that person remove them, inspect the coins, and then scan the pocket area again to make certain that no other metallic object is present. You should also conduct further inspections when a signal is created by a large belt buckle or necklace. Make certain these items are not disguising some forbidden object behind them. You will encounter such common objects as pants zippers and bra snaps. Be prepared for them and portable electronics, including cell phones, that may be encountered. There have been cases when what appeared to be a cell phone was actually a gun. It's your job to inspect all such detected items carefully. If anyone should refuse to be inspected or try to cause trouble in any other way, carefully follow the instructions given to you by your supervisors. You have an important job and the Super Scanner V is an excellent tool to help you accomplish your mission. Depend on the performance of your Super Scanner just as the public depends on you to help keep them safe.